process for what I do uh, when I want to go potentially dive somewhere. I always start with the raw data. This is coming from the National Buoy Data Center. And I've scrolled down towards the bottom. That's where the Monterey area is. It's coastal waters out to 10 nautical miles between Pigeon Point, which is Santa Cruz, and Point Pinos, which is Pacific Grove area. So it looks like the only good window so far is Thursday. It's not even that great, but it's it's probably doable. So let's let's do some more research. I've already copied and pasted Thursday's forecast in this cheesy little diagram over here. Um, this is something I just roughly put together to help people figure out what the day, dive day may look like. So you'll see that the winds are up to 10 uh, knots, wind waves one foot, western swell five to seven feet at 12 seconds. So according to this little graph I made over here, uh, you have all of those add up to 23 at the minimum prediction and 30 at the maximum. And being that Thursday is tomorrow, I, I expect that the data should be relatively close. So being that it's under 25 on the minimum side, that puts it into a, a pretty good dive day. And then 30 puts it more into the you need to start diving smart category. Um, and, the, and the thing that really makes, makes me concerned uh, or, or the thing that puts up a caution flag for me is the, the 5 to 7 foot at 12 seconds. Um, 12 seconds isn't bad. It shouldn't be pushing too much water and surge down lower. The bigger the number um, between the waves, that interval, uh, the, the deeper the surge will reach. So 12 seconds isn't too bad, but 5 to 7 is getting a little bit on the bigger side. So I, I'd say just on the max swell alone, I'd say you should probably be diving smart. So being that it's a western swell, um, I like to hop over to this website called Ventusky, and we'll change the date to tomorrow. And it's nice because you can kind of scroll around different areas of the coast and it'll give you your, your swell, or you can switch to wind speed and see which direction it's coming from and get a kind of vague general idea of some of the spots um, that would be good to dive. Being that it's a western swell, you're looking at protection on the inside of the bay and even over here potentially in Stillwater Cove. Um, I like to go look at Pebble Beach's live cams. Uh, it gives you a really nice view. The, the 18th hole live cam gives you a nice view of what these rock structures are doing. And the 17th hole gives a really nice view of right out here. This is uh, Pescadero Point or uh, Ghost Trees is, is a common name for it. And uh, if you see big rollers coming in here on ghost trees, you know that the viz is probably going to be a little murky in here, and um, it may not be a great day to dive anywhere outside in the western-facing portion of Pebble Beach. Their live cams, unfortunately, are down right now due to the uh, Pebble Beach Pro-Am Golf Tournament. I guess I don't want people stealing footage or anything. So... Um, so I can't show you that today, but I can show you that Monterey Bay also has one and it scrolls through a couple different areas, but this is right out here by Ricketts, Ed Ricketts, um, the research just north of the uh, research facility just north of the aquarium. And you can see there's quite a bit of water movement going on right now. It looks like it's low tide. Um, so live cams really give a good uh, idea of what the water is doing, at least in a couple areas, enough to, to know what it's like inside and outside of the bay, generally. So let's say I'm looking at diving somewhere inside the bay over here, because there's really only one spot to access still water um, legally, which is right the steps right by the pier. So this will, this will be a little bit better of an example. If we want to try to find somewhere in this area to dive, we need to make sure that there's an entry to the water and that we're not in a marine protected area or a state marine reserve, which there are uh, over here. So even before you go and look at how to enter, you should make sure that you know where your MPAs uh, and SMRs are. So you can do that on the Fish and Wildlife website. This is a map here. It's, I mean, technically this is the most accurate portion, but it's also really hard to see even when you blow it up on the PDF.
So if we want to come in here to Monterey, you're not getting a whole lot of great definition of where that red spot is uh, to dive. So there's a really great tour builder tool from um, Google. It's a Google Maps feature, I think, um, that gives them to you right here. Now, the blue spots are reserves where you can't take invertebrates, but you can fish. Uh, the red spots are no-take zones altogether. So you see this is Lover's Point right here. This little line coming straight off of Lover's is the legal limit. Similarly, this is Point Pinos over here. Uh, so you can dive anywhere to the north of Pinos, or I guess that would be kind of east, um, in this section, which is good. Or you can come all the way down over here to dive, uh, or, or anywhere out in you know, Del Monte Beach area. Um, but let's let's take a look over here. Coral Street's a really popular dive area in Pacific Grove. Um, but I want to hop back over to maps now that we know we can dive from here to point to um, Lover's Point. I want to show you a cool tool. If you turn on satellite view and you click this 3D button over here, you can actually zoom in to a section of beach and if you hold the command or control key you can turn it and zoom in on a really cool pretty accurate 3D scale. So this would be really helpful for finding spots to get in the water down in Big Sur, goat trails and stuff like that. I spend a lot of time on this view um, but you can see, just for the example's sake, here's a little spot you can enter on the stairs, so maybe that's a good kayak spot. Coral Street is popular because it gets a lot of protection from this little shelf of rock here. This is Coral Street. Uh, so this is a really popular area to get in with kayaks and stuff because they have, um, they have a set of stairs. right here and so you can usually get in with your kayak right over here um, so that's we know that that's a pretty likely uh, going to be a good spot to dive on thursday if we were looking to dive tomorrow unfortunately i'm working so i won't be um, but there's this great group on facebook called monterey bay spearfishing it's very very active lots of people dive throughout the the week weekday dives. This guy right here just said, hey, I'm going to Jade Cove. Hit me up if you're in the area. Um, so I would encourage you guys to hop on Monterey Bay Spearfishing or just get involved with your local group like the Tritons, um, Bamboo Reef Freedivers, or, or any of the, the local shops that are more knowledgeable on um, spearfishing and conditions and stuff like that. But you should be able to find a buddy or two on uh, on this group here. So I'd, I'd encourage you guys just to hop on and uh, give a shout out. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to post a comment on YouTube or, or um, look me up on Facebook. So happy diving. Hope you guys uh, get some good fish and enjoy the oceans.